Hi Capricorn, welcome to your February love taroscope. Please keep in mind it is a general reading, so just take what resonates with you personally. Information for personal and private readings are down below each video in the description box. Okay, leave me a comment down below to let me know how it resonates with you as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the energy for you, Capricorn, for February. Spirit, please reveal to me um, Capricorn's energy in regards to love for February. Capricorn, you are divinely guided this month, okay? Um, if you are in a relationship, it is being divinely guided to to a new point, to a higher level, okay? It could be a commitment. It could be a move somewhere, all right? But your relationship is protected as well. So if any of you have been worried about your connection, if you've been going through something and you're afraid that your relationship isn't gonna make it through this conflict or whatever it is you're going through, Spirit wants you to know that it will, and it is. And what you're going through right now is actually divinely guided, okay, in order to actually bring you closer together. Okay, so you are protected. Your relationship is protected. That's not something you have to worry about this month. So let's take a look at your energy towards your person. Okay. If you are single, you are being divinely guided towards a relationship, towards someone. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at your energy, Capricorn, for February. All right, we got the Three of Wands. Beautiful energy. This is Aries energy. So you might be being guided towards an Aries, all right? Um, I think you're worried about your future. If you're in a relationship, I feel like you're worried about the future of the relationship, where it's going, okay? You feel like this need to protect it. And I also think some, there's some anxiety here about the future and where your relationship is going in the future. But again, Spirit's saying, you know what? You're protected. You don't have to worry about that. So let's get your person's energy. Two of Wands. Wow, you definitely could be dealing with an Aries. So with the Two of Wands, your person's feeling anxiety as well. Okay, so there's mutual anxiety here. You guys are kind of stressing each other out. I feel like these issues and these problems that both of you are bringing up um, are things about your future, where you want to go. And it's like you're, it's like things that don't even need to be worried about right now, right? It's like you're arguing about the future of your relationship or where it's going or what you want in the future, you know, and, and things, the future doesn't even really need to be addressed right now. That's what I'm seeing. So really what I'm feeling for you is that there's just this need to be in the present moment, okay? So let's clarify this. Vera, tell me more about Capricorn's energy here with the Three of Wands. There's a very restless energy here, Capricorn. You are restless this month, okay? Um, we also got the Ten of Wands. You're overwhelmed, all right? You feel like you've been walking an uphill battle. You're overwhelmed with responsibilities. You're overwhelmed with your plans, with planning. Okay, you just feel overall completely overwhelmed. All right, so just take a deep breath, okay? Know that these plans that you're making, what is it gonna hurt to wait a little bit? You know, um, just let it sit. You know, think about it for a bit and then maybe it'll just be easier and not so overwhelming to come back to it later. All right, well, let's clarify that further. You could be very stressed out about a move also, okay? Like you could be moving locations, moving homes, and it's stressing you out, and it's very overwhelming, and you're like, 
worried that your relationship is going to fall apart during this move. Okay, spirits, like calm down. All right, um, you're protected. You're being guided to wherever you're going. And it feels like an uphill battle, battle to get there. Yes, but okay, don't worry. You are protected. You can take a deep breath. Let's get another card here for you. Money. So you could also be stressing out over money, trying to plan with money, trying to budget with money. Um, and it's overwhelming. Okay. It's overwhelming. Spirit wants you to know that your money is protected. Okay. So you don't have to worry about this. Whatever you need in regards to money, what Spirit is telling me is it's going to kind of come to you at the right time, right in the nick of time, okay? So you don't have to stress about money. So let's take a look at your person's energy. Spirit, tell me more about Capricorn's person's energy towards them. Tell me about the Two of Wands. We got the fool. So yeah, I feel like you could be moving location, looking at houses. You're stressed out over money. Listen, everyone feels stressed over everything when you're moving. And there's actually like, I heard there's three very stressful events that you go through in your life that are the most stressful. And one of them is moving homes, moving location, right? Starting fresh. So, you know, with the fool here, um, I think your person really, really, what they need most right now is just to have fun, just to be silly, okay, to relieve some of the stress, all right, so be silly with them, Capricorn, um, you know, show them your sense of humor, all right, because Capricorn, I know that you can be humorous, I have seen it, okay, you can do it, and listen, when a Capricorn is funny, like they are really, really funny. Okay. So I know you can do it, Capricorn. Have fun with your person. Lighten up the mood. Make some jokes. All right. Let's get another card here for them. Oh, we got Melody. Yeah. Look at that. They really, really are just really longing to just get up and get out and have some fun okay so you are both feeling the stress energy and i can't think of anything better for you two than to just go out and have some fun okay so whether this be going out for a night having dinner or maybe going for a hike through the woods maybe you just start a bonfire in your backyard and roast some marshmallows and have a glass of wine whatever it is you know, whatever it is, just make sure you're having fun and forget about the stress of the moment while you're having fun. Okay, just focus on your person. Focus on laughter. Focus on releasing some of that stress. And then I think once you do that, you'll be able to handle what's in front of you so much easier. Pardon my voice, Capricorn. I'm struggling. I'm fighting off a sore throat. So I I took vitamin D and vitamin C today and yesterday. Um, so we'll see. It feels a little better than yesterday. So let's go ahead and take a look here. All right, Capricorn. How do you feel about all this? How do you feel about your person? Hanged man energy. Okay. So I think you just want to pause right now is what I'm seeing here with the hanged man. You feel like you have a little bit too much on your plate and you're really just longing to pause. And what you really need here is to look at it from a new perspective. And I think that's what you're missing here is that new perspective. Okay, let's take a look at your person. Your person could be a Pisces and Aries. Maybe they're a Pisces and Tropical, but an Aries and Vedic. For your person, they could also be a Virgo, all right, because we have the hermit here. So your person's actually feeling a little bit isolated from you because they know that you're very stressed out and they are pulling back a little bit, okay? So you guys really, really do need some fun, all right? 
your person is starting to feel isolated. So just relax, take a deep breath, have some fun together. That is the best advice I can offer you. Spirit, tell me more about Capricorn's energy here. All right, we got the Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn. So opportunities are going to come in for you, especially in regards to money. So, and again, I feel like it's just going to fall in your lap right in the nick of time. All right, so it's time to start focusing on looking at the situation in a new way that doesn't make you feel so stressed out about it, right? Let's get another card here. We got officer, all right? So to me, this is like official opportunities. So a very official opportunity coming your way, all right? Um, but you know, with officers, I feel like this is just, and you know, I'm seeing the uniform. So you don't have to always look at things so uniformly. You can be abstract. You can look at this from a different perspective. Okay, so let's take a look at your person here. Virgo energy. Listen, I will tell you, Capricorn, you're stressing your person out. Um, you're making them overanalyze every little detail and withdraw into themselves. Okay, so let's get another card here for your person. We got the Knight of Swords in reverse, so they're starting to shut down verbally. All right, they're not really communicating. Get another card here. And they don't want to stress you out further. This is the reason why. All right, but they also need that support. We got Widow here. So they're feeling very alone because of this, because they're also very stressed, but they feel like they can't bring it up to you, that they can't talk to you about it because you're too overwhelmed. All right, so they feel like you're not there for them right now. And it's causing them to overanalyze everything. Okay. So I feel like being mindful of that, you know, and bringing a lighter energy is really going to help. Let's get some advice from Spirit for you, Capricorn. Afraid to love again. All right, Capricorn, don't be afraid to show some love to your person. I think that with all this stress that's been going on with money and everything else, you have been forgetting to show your person some love language, you know, like just going up to them and giving them a hug out of nowhere, maybe giving them a very passionate kiss for no reason, um, telling them how beautiful they are, telling them how much you appreciate them. Um, it's those little things, okay? And that is going to make things feel so much better. So let's get another card here. We got no. All right, Capricorn. Also remember that not everything has to be done right now. Right now, what you really need is a pause. Right now, what you really need is a break from the hustle and the bustle and the worry and the stress. So Spirit is saying, remember that you can wait, you can postpone things, you can pause, you can say no if it feels too overwhelming, all right? You don't have to agree to anything right now. All right, so that's your reading, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below. I'll talk to you later. Bye.